real soon, waiting for the sky to crack. Yeah, how shot to take us back. The new covenant with the Lord, we got a contract. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the seed from the sack. Everybody not chosen, you gotta deal with that. You gon' wake up out your sleep with chains on your neck. Did he say keep the Sabbath holy? Yeah. Okay, so didn't David go eat the shoe bread on the Sabbath day? Let's deal with it. No, why couldn't you eat the shoe bread? Jesus. Jesus' body? No, because if the unclean couldn't eat the shoe bread. Yeah, right. David was clean. David was out in the field for three days before he came in. And David told them that, which allowed him, gave him the ability to eat the shoe bread. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? So back to the uh, unclean meats. Uh, you, 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 uh, God said you cannot sit there and curse what I bless and bless what I curse. Ain't no need in you praying for something that the Lord said they said is unclean. Because the Lord said they said that and you cannot eat it. Bring that out in Malachi 3 16. This is Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6. Bring it out. Go. For I am the Lord. Uh huh. I change not. Nah, I sit there. I, I, I change my mind sometimes. I am the Lord. I change I'm not. I'm double minded. I change not. Uh -huh. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Most of that, most of God said I change not. So, like I said, brother, you can't eat whatever you want to eat. Most of your God gave us, our God gave us a dietary law that we're going to survive by. Uh -huh. You understand? Now, now you know you're not supposed to eat pork. Let's go to what else you're not supposed well, to eat. Well, see, there's, uh, you know. Uh, uh, let, me, let me break oh, it down. No, no, hold on for a second. It's not just pork. He said, "Don't eat shrimp, anything with shells." And I was about to go there. I was about to go there. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I was about to go there. Everybody saying pork. I was about to go there. Bring it out. You don't eat bats. You don't eat buzzards. You don't eat. The most I can deal with those that sit and eat all the abominable meats. Because he clearly gave us the laws. He says that in the book of Isaiah, which is another prophecy that hasn't been fulfilled yet by Christ, which means the law still stands. He's gonna have to deal with me on that. I mean. Oh, he he will. Cause listen, did, you I people wondering, damn, why I got high blood pressure? Yeah, yeah. Damn, I why I got either. gout? Damn, hold on. You said you don't have it right now. I have none of it. Okay, but watch this. Please, yeah. Adam I'm and Eve, almost sixty years old. Now I have nothing. Okay. Please, yes, then what about hold on, hold on? What about Adam and Eve? What the guys said they say that if you eat from the tree of uh, not, uh, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, did it? Did he say you will surely be put to death? Yeah. Did they die immediately? No, but they died. Exactly. So just because it ain't see they hit you yet, don't mean it's not going to. That's You're right. under the mercy of the most high God right now. That's why Christ died. So now that you know, give me the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse number 26. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 26. Bring it out. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. Uh -huh. There remain of no more sacrifice for sin. Uh -huh. But a certain fearful looking. So you said that if you continue to do what you want to do after receiving what your God has told you told you not to do, there remains no more sacrifice for your sins. That that covering that Christ put over you for sinning, committing sin that you did unknowingly. Now when you do it willfully, man, He's not covering that no more. That's just like if you sit there and go. And let's say I had fifty years over my head. No, no, hold on, hold on. Let's say I had fifty years over my head, right? Yeah. And you say, hey, no, brother, I don't want you to serve that time. I'm going to take that 50 years off your head. You sit there and spend about 15 years in. You, you, you put 15 years in. You told me, look, I'm going to take these 50 years, but don't do it no more. You hit that 15 year mark, and they say, they open that door, that, that cell room door, and say, hey, here's your new cellmate. And I walk in there. What you going to do? I ain't going to do nothing. You ain't going to want to do nothing? I ain't going to do nothing. Hey, walk right to the most man, because uh, most you know brothers. Why? Because you're a most brother, man. I made that decision. I know you're human. I know you're going to make a mistake. Uh -huh. I already know that. Uh -huh. Well, I'm going to tell you, Christ ain't doing that. Uh -huh. yeah, Christ right. will take your goddamn head off. Right. Right. For yeah. anybody that's sitting there that he died for and, and basically spit in his face and say, you know what? I ain't hey, give a damn about you sitting there dying for you, man. I want to eat what I want to eat, man. I want to do what the hell I want to do, man. And Christ ain't going for it. Christ is not that no soft ass man that everybody portray him to be. Christ was an oh, austere man. Huh? No, nah, he ain't. The huh? thing is, is, you know, there's a lot of confusion. That's true. There's a lot of this is the land of confusion. This is, well, this is America this is confusing this itself. Right here. This yeah, this is Egypt. 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 Ecclesiastes chapter eight and verse eleven. Egypt. 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 Because sentence against the evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men 
is fully set in them to do evil. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yo, a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged. Yet, surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before Him. But it shall not be well with the wicked. Although a lot of people, you know, do what they want to do right now. Come on, son, I'm not with you, man. You don't get up with anybody that is, that, that that partakes in wickedness. That's There's no right. getting away from it. I don't you know, think he's going like, to condemn I, me because I'm eating something. Huh? I really don't think he's going to condemn me because I'm eating something. Give me the book. Give me the book. Give me the book of Syrac. Give me the book of Syrac. His worst thing. No, no, not even Syrac. Give me the book of Second Maccabees, chapter seven, start from the top. Because they, they knew something obviously. Cool. These our righteous forefathers. That's right, teach y'all. They knew something obviously. So let's see what they did. Second Maccabees, chapter seven, start from the top, and verse one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It came to pass also that seven brethren with their mother were taken uh -huh. and compelled by the king against the law to taste swine's flesh. To eat what? To, to taste, taste swine's, swine's flesh. flesh. That pork chop? To, to taste, taste swine's, swine's flesh. flesh. That pepperoni? To, to taste, taste swine's flesh. flesh. That sausage? To, to taste, taste swine's, swine's flesh. flesh. Keep going. And were tormented with scourges and whips. Uh -huh. But one of them that spake first said thus, what wouldst thou ask of or learn of us? So one of the brothers, man, out of the seven brothers and their mother, he said, said what the hell do you want, man? He told that to the white man's face. What, right. the, what the hell do you want from That's me, right. man? Keep going. We are ready to die. Yeah. Rather than to transgress the laws of our father. Yeah. We, rather than live. we are ready yeah. to yeah. die. Yeah. Rather than to transgress the laws of our father. That's uh -huh. right. See that? Then why would they why would they say that? Why would they do that? If, if, they, if God sit there ain't gonna condemn me for sitting there for eating swine's flesh, why they say that I'd rather die than yeah, to eat yeah. swine's flesh? I ain't eating it like that. He ain't bringing it to me like that. I, I'm, he's bringing it to you right now through your, through your brothers. That's the Lord is sitting there bringing it to you right now through your brothers. Really, Give, me you Give me the book of Proverbs. You gotta please up. Give me the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse number one. Bring, Bring that out, King. The book of 2 Kings, chapter 5. Starting at verse number 39. Bring it out. And one went out into the field to gather herbs and found a wild vine and gathered there of wild gourds. His lap full and came and shred them into the pot of pottage, uh. for they knew them not. So they poured out for the men to eat, and it came to pass as they were eating of the pottage they say? that they cried out yeah. and said, O thou man of God, uh -huh. there is death in the pot. No, there's life. There, there is, is death, death in, in the pot. pot. It smells good. There, there is, is death, death in, in the, the pot. pot. And they could not eat their rug. They said, they said it's death in the pot. I ain't put my mouth on none of that. That's right. Yeah. Our people said they would rather, our righteous forefathers and mothers, brothers and sisters would rather die yeah, yeah. than to break the commandments of our God. Well, I'm going to take it up with him and I'll see. Well, he can take, well, mm. take it up with you regardless, brother, yeah. and, anybody, and anybody else that decided to go against him. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, bring this out. You say he ain't bring it to you like that. So let me confirm it with what he said. Proverbs 16 and verse 1. Bring it out. The preparations of the heart in man. Uh -huh. And the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. It's from who? It's, it's from, from the Lord. Lord. So you should just say he ain't bring it to you. He just did. He used your brothers to tell you, listen, stop there partaking in this thing, John the Bitch, partaking in. Because now you know. And remember, he was your black guy the Messiah said not to eat but let's deal with it on a scientific level did you know that swine they don't have no sweat glands all the toxins and everything that they take in they can't they don't have to they can't screen it out they have a, a, a hole in the back right side of their leg that oozes green puss out all day I had a cousin that worked in Walton he said they said when they cut a, they cut pigs open plenty of them that had a big ass green pus bubble which is really which is really cancer cancer and other type of diseases in them all they did was rinse it out, continue to chop it up, package it up, and send it to your uh, your closest food market. And you and you're putting that in your body. Not only that, swine has what you call the chicana worm. It's a parasite. They tried destroying it with fire. They say you can cook uh, fire kills parasites. Not this one. They tried to kill it. It, it got to the point they had to try to kill it with radiation. Guess what? It didn't work. Why? The most like God set it up that way. Why? Because they're perfect in their element. 
Swine was put on this earth to clean up the land. They was the first garbage disposal company. Same thing with the shrimp, what crab lobster in the, the ocean. People that's not of God, can they eat it? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. And will they get cancer? Give me the book of Psalms. Give me the book of Psalms, chapter 147. The reason I ask 19. that question is because when, you know, where the swine, where the demons jumped out the man and jumped the swine, they went over the cliff and around. Oh, well, yeah, uh -huh. well, they was hurting, they was hurting swine like you, like we heard sheep. Uh-huh. You know, so that means they was eating them, they was hurting them. I mean, well, who, 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 who dealt with it though? Because we're not supposed to eat. The other nations can't. That's why we. That's why we get dealt with so quick by the Most High God. That's why we the ones that get jammed up. Bring this out right quick. You asked. You asked. Uh, you said, uh, "Can another nation eat it?" I'm gonna show you why. Psalms 147 and verse 19. Bring it out. He showed his word unto Jacob. Jacob is the progenitor of the twelve tribes of Israel. He's gone. He showed his word unto Jacob. Jacob is the progenitor of the twelve tribes of Israel. He gone. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Whose regulations and guidelines to us only? Read. He have not dealt so with any nation. Yeah, what? He have not, not dealt so with, with any nation. nation. You know. As for his judgments, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. See that? Nobody else is going to get jammed up for real, for real right that now, anyway. I, I, yeah, that makes sense. Because he, I mean, he, he, he told I, I us to do it. it. That's, just, that's, just like, that's just like this, right? You got, you got any children? Yes, I have children. When you tell your sons not to do something, right, and their friends will do it too, who asks you for what? Yeah. Dude, you will you will see that beat your children. You don't you not see them, but you know. Well, hey, hey listen, well, Lord say I attach them to my love. I know I want my children. Uh, I, I, I discipline them. What? Don't have to be beat. Uh, man, give me the book of Psalms, right, chapter thirty. I know, but I'm gonna go. You got a precept? Uh, I have no heart. Oh, bring it out right quick. Quick. Uh, and then I'm gonna leave. This is from acc.org. Acc.org. There are significant differences in blood pressure prevalence and control rates based on race, ethnicity, national surveys such as the U.S. National Health and Nutrition Examination Surveys have highlighted these differences. Non-Hispanic Blacks have significantly higher rates of hypertension compared to non-Hispanic Whites, while Hispanics and non-Hispanic Asians have lower rates than both groups. In NHANES survey, hypertension control rates among non-Hispanic White adults, 55.7, was significantly higher than uh, non-Hispanic Blacks, 48.5, non-Hispanic uh, Asians, 43.5, and Hispanics, 47.4%. So what I'm showing you is that based on your ethnicity, right, different things affect you differently. So when the Lord said you, we shouldn't be eating these things, uh, you know, shrimp, crab, lobster, pork, uh, whatever yeah, else, no, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's for our own good because we're separate people. When we eat these things, it, it affects us differently. Then it's going to affect the white man. Then it's going to affect the Asian man. Then it's going to affect the Arab man. Because our like uh, uh, we're just built differently internally. Well, we're different. That's different just role. like mm -hmm. that's just role. like trying to put uh, uh, some uh, regular gasoline inside a uh, inside of a uh, eighteen wheeler. We we run off diesel and we put dog on eighty seven in, man. You turn the damn engine up. Right. You get what I'm saying? Same thing. Most of guys, we you know we. Like the brothers today were uh, uh, brought up beautifully, we run differently. Bring us all right quick. And this is another reason why I didn't let you know. Leviticus 20 and verse 26. Bring it up. And ye shall be holy unto me. Uh -huh. For I, the Lord, am holy. Uh -huh. And have severed you. Now I put you together. And have severed you uh -huh. from other people that ye should be uh -huh. mine. So that the most of God separated us from everybody else, brother. So you, you, will, you will see there be a priest of the most high God it's time to come back to our father man so we can get the hell up out of this dog born milk pot that he's going to destroy with nuclear hell for our missiles that's right which, which, which is another prophecy that has to be fulfilled that's we right we should be royalty man to take stand on it and get a crown put in your head man that's right we, 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 all of us sit there looking forward to getting the crown on our head that's and I pray right. that the most high have mercy on us and you as well brother yeah yeah we love you man we out here for our people man we ain't out here for nobody else that's right and you deserve it man we dealt with enough over here in this goddamn hell of a, this damn place man don't you don't you agree we dealt with a damn no yeah they, and they still killing us on a daily basis man not yeah. giving a damn about us but we got a god that cares about us and we sit to continually turn our back on him. what sense does it make it's time to sit there in the book of the limitations chapter 3 and verse number 41 Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 41. Bring you know, it out. Let us lift up our heart with our hands unto God uh -huh. in the heavens. No, start at 40. Start at 40. Verse 40. 
Let us search and try our ways. We search and try our ways, man. We sit there tried marching. Didn't work. We're trying to get reparations. That's not working. We try to sit there. We try all kinds of goddamn things. It's not working. What, what's going to work for us, though? And turn again to the Lord. Uh, and do what? And, and turn, turn again, again to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Read on. Let us lift up our heart with our hands unto God in the heavens. See that? It's time for us to lift our hands back up to our Father, man, to ask him to receive us, man, and to deliver us up yeah. out of this hell, man. Yeah. You understand, brother? What's your name, brother? Everett. Everett. Nice to meet you, brother. Man. It's a pleasure to sit here. I appreciate you giving me some of your time. And you actually gave me more than five. All praises to the most high, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a blessing, King. You got a flyer? Somebody, somebody give my brother a flyer, man. Doris Willing, man, let me sit there and see you again. We have calls right. Mondays and sit there and uh, Thursdays. And we're going back and sit there having calls on uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays through the Spirit, man. We would love to have you up there with us and the fellowship together, man. All right, brother? All right. You have a blessed one, King. All right, man. So, uh, uh, Praise to the most high. Right. Let's go back to Jeremiah. Uh, no, we wasn't in Jeremiah. We was in, what was we at? Damn. Oh, who's in Zephaniah 2 and 1? We're on 2 right now, I believe. Because once, like I said, man, our people don't understand the uh, decree, man. The decree is to sit there, those that's going to sit there and inherit the kingdom, and to those that's going to be put to death. Two thirds of our people is going to be destroyed, and only a third is going to be saved up out of this thing, man. So it's time to sit and stop playing these goddamn games. You see, the time is running out, man. Time is real short. But this ain't the time to be sitting there thinking. Oh, I'm trying to live it up over here in America. Oh, I'm trying to sit there and get this big house and this nice car. You know what I'm saying? That's okay to want nice things, but that shouldn't be your primary goal, man. We should be stocking up on faith. We should be stocking up on these scriptures and meditating on them on day and night, man, to prepare ourselves mentally for the tortures and torment that we're possibly going to go through. And some of us may not see it, man. Some of us may not have to go through the tortures and torment, but we don't know who's going to have to sit there and serve, who's going to have to pay that bill. I know damn well, if I got to pay that bill, I need to be mentally stable and prepared to pay that bill, man. Because a lot of people say, say, man, I'm going to die for this truth, man. I'm willing to sit there and give up my life for the Most High God. Well, the Most High God is more than likely going to put your name to the test. You going to have a gun put, put, it, put in front of your head. You going to have your children slain before you. You going to sit there and be slain before your wife and children, man. And if they not ready and you not ready, you're not going to inherit the kingdom. Give me the book. What I got you holding on right now. Uh, go to the book of uh, Second Andrew chapter fifteen, start at verse number five, right there. You said fifteen. Uh huh. Verse forty-five. Not the five. Verse five. Uh, four. Second Ezra chapter fifteen and verse four. Yeah, like I said. I said it said we should be stuck mm -hmm. up on faith. Why? This is why right here. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Shall, shall do what? Shall, shall die, die in all their unfaithfulness. What's that brother that said there say, man, I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat that pork chop sandwich. Shall, shall die, die in their unfaithfulness. Man, that shrimp crab boy. Shall, shall die, die in their unfaithfulness. Man, I ain't ate nothing all day. I've been sitting there walking this goddamn wilderness for doggone three weeks, I ain't had nothing to eat. I gotta sit there eating this dog on a uh, frog, man. Shall die. Shall die in their unfaithfulness. See that, man? Shall die in their unfaithfulness. <laughs> now, what is faith, man? Give me the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, and verse number 1. And how y'all how y'all sisters doing? Y'all doing all right? Let me give y'all culture right quick. Y'all traditions, y'all inheritance, man. We have for our own people. You ain't good, you wearing pants. Thinking you a dude. You need to get your soul right, sister. Time is running out. That's right. How you doing, brother? Got about five minutes of your time? Hey, well, listen, man. Don't turn your back on the God, on your God, man. Your God is black. You an Israelite. I right, repent while you got time before the sky crack. All right? That sky crack and you get your head snatched. It's over with. Bring that out. Hebrews 11 and verse 1. This is faith. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Such a, faith is the substance of things hoped for. We believe in it, right? Read. The evidence of things not seen. The evidence of things not seen, man. Like, we said they have faith that we're going to make it into the kingdom of God. We haven't seen kingdom. We haven't seen the kingdom of God yet. We haven't seen none of these miracles that the Bible said they have, has, uh, has provided us with and told us about. 
but we believe it, man. We should have faith that the, that the Most High is going to deliver us up out of these things, man. Sister. She got the hair, boy. Got them bent around the corner over there. All right? So now let's, now let's go back to Zephaniah 2 and 1. Zephaniah 2 and verse 1. Uh, starting 2. Verse 2. Before the decree brings forth. Before the decree brings forth, man. The decree of what? The destruction of U.S. of A. This guy dog on hell hole that my people is living there, man. Read on. Before the day pass as the chaff. Before the day pass as the chaff, man. It's going to happen real fast. It's going it's to happen in no time. Read. Before the day before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon everybody, man. Sister. Sister. She don't believe in that. She don't believe in that. Give me Zechariah 7 and 11. She don't believe in it. And she don't even know, man. They sit there blind, uh, have your hair blind. They sit there, it's a sign of leprosy, man. It's a curse. You want to be like the so-called white man, woman and child. Looking crazy out here. When you have natural, black, beautiful hair. Nappy hair, man. Our right, people want to see it. Bring it out. Zechariah 7 and verse 11. Bring it out. But they refuse to hearken. They what? They, they refuse, refuse to hearken. They want to hear what the Lord say. They, they refuse, refuse to hearken. Read on. And pulled away the shoulders. And do what? And, and pulled, pulled away, away the shoulders. shoulders. Pulled away their goddamn soldier like some idiots, man. They have no clue, man, what's really going on. This thing is wrapping up, man. Give me the book of sitting there, uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 55 and verse number 6. Isaiah 55 and verse 6. Right yo. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Now take your time. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Read on. Call ye upon him while he is near. Is he not going to be here for always, man? What? Let the wicked forsake his way. No, let the wicked continue doing what they're doing. Let, let the, the wicked, wicked forsake, forsake his way. way. Keep going to that club at night. Let, let the, the wicked, wicked forsake, forsake his way. way. Keep dressing as harlots. Let, let, let the, the wicked, wicked forsake, forsake his way. way. Keep being whoremongers. Let, let the, the wicked, wicked forsake, forsake his way. way. Keep eating whatever the hell you want to eat. Let, let the, the wicked, wicked forsake his way. way. Read on. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. Right. And let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him. And to our God. For he will abundantly pardon. Our people gotta stop playing, man. This, this thing, man, I'm telling you, we, we pulling up on some rare, some really scary times, man. We out here walking amongst the so-called white man, woman, and child right now. But soon when you walk out here with a man, they're gonna be pulling, they're gonna be throwing up barrels in your face. Right. Telling you to get on the knees, denounce yeah. your black God, right. or be put to death. As soon as you deny him, they're gonna put you to death anyway. They're gonna go back to snatching your little children, slamming them against the ground. They're gonna go back on a more broader scale of having you hanging on every goddamn tree that they can hang on. Soon they're gonna be having you having you hanging on these damn these light poles, Thanks, hanging on the side of these damn buildings, dismembered, disfigured. Why? Cause they hate your goddamn guts, black man, woman, and child. Right. They hate us, man. It's only getting the worst, man. Give me uh, give me um, give me the book of Sirach. Chapter 5 and verse 7, man. We'll follow up with that, man. Sirach, chapter 5 and verse 7. Bring it out. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. I'll take your precious ass time. Make, Make no, no tarrying to turn to the Lord. And be swift to do this, man. Read. And put not off from day to day. Don't put off from day to day. Don't say, man, I'm going to serve the Lord in markets. He might put your ass to death tonight. You understand? You might get in the car accident. You might get hit by a straight bullet. You might get eight mangled by a random ass pit bull. You know, y'all seen the show, man, Thousand Ways to Die. There's so many ways you can die in this damn world, man. It don't make no sense, man. That's how the most I work. It ain't gonna be, you're not gonna see the most I father himself. How you doing, brother? How you, doing? you got a beautiful family, man. Can I borrow five minutes of your time? If I had it, but I'm already late. And listen, man, it's the Sabbath, man. You a black, you a their priest according to God, man. A chosen people, man. Already know it, bro. All right, man. Lord's willing, man. Uh, you come back out here and you give us a little bit of your time, all right? I got you. All right, brother. So that man, the distraction of this world is getting us done up out here, man. It's, it's bad out here. You talk about so many damn distractions. You got the damn scooter demon out here. 
<laughs> you got the dog on uh, 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 loud music and riding down the street demon out yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. There all kinds of doggone demons out here, man. Yeah, yeah. Cycling through got down a hill town center. Yeah. Richmond. Yeah. It's the same damn familiar spirits, yeah, man. Yeah. That sit there consuming our people. And they have no clue that they sit there engaging in a spiritual warfare. How you doing, brother? Hey, can I borrow five minutes of your time? Five minutes. Come talk to me right quick. Oh, if you don't mind me asking, brother, what's your ethnicity, man? What's your race? Black. Black? All praises to the most side. So you probably more than likely come from the tribe of Judah, of the Israelites, which is why we out here. To let our people know that we're the Israelites. You hear anything about it? You have it? Man, okay, what's well, so the message there explain it to you? Give me the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Do you believe in the Bible? All praises to the most high. That's the first step to getting closer to your black God and your black Messiah, man. That's right. And they said they told us Christ was a so-called white man, didn't they? Then they say he look like that right there. It's a goddamn lie. It's a lie that they gave us, man. Why they why they do that? Why they give us that image, man? Man, they wanted to be. They wanted to. They want us to be consumed by idolatry. See, they're disobedient. Yeah. Bring that out. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Now, when Moses went to Pharaoh and said, "What? Let my people go." Very possessive pronoun. It, is, it wasn't talking to everybody. If I was to go to a precinct and talk to the board of the priest, or, or not precinct or the prison, and say, "Let my people go," am I talking about everybody, or am I talking about people that look like me and you? People that look like me and you. Moses did the same thing with the Pharaoh. Because he had other people in under subjection under uh in Egypt as well. You understand? Bring that up. What? It shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes which I command thee this day. Read on. And all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So according to this context, when the most high God blessed Moses to part the Red Sea. To help the Israelites escape out of servitude, because they were slaves over there. And in doing so, he sat down with the Israelites as the Most High God commanded them to. He told them, the, Our fathers said that we have rules, regulations, and guidelines that we must live by. Uh, give me 54 and 68, because I got to get a brother some laws. Verse 54. Bring it out. So that the man that is tender among so you. So that the man that is tender among you. We used to be tender amongst each other. But during the time of Emmett Martin Luther King, uh, Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, Frederick Douglass. We knew who the enemy was. We agreed. When the Black Panther Party started, when the Bloods and Crips started, we knew who we was dealing with. We was out there to get the white, uh, to protect our women and children, and to put to death the so-called white man. Because they was coming against us. They was trying to put us to death. Now they said they end up, what, now, what happened to those Bloods, Crips, and to the Black Panther Party? What happened? Bring it out. He agreed. His eyes shall be evil toward his brother. His what? His eyes shall be evil toward his brother. With the organizations, those organizations started as as we uh, when we was in unison together. We we, we rode together. Now we took each other. Brother sit there, you got on uh, you got on a nice fit. Brother see you and got dog on the brother sit there want to put you to death. He you say, you, you say you think you're better than them. When you no, when you just work hard for what you got and you like to look nice. Females said they do the same as that thing. That's, that's, that's so called black on black crime. Read on. And toward the wife of his bosom. And toward the wife of his bosom. That's domestic violence. Our men knocking out their women, and now our women knocking out their men. You see it all the time on Instagram, Facebook, all, and all other uh, types of on social media networks. Keep going. And toward the remnant of his children. Which he shall leave. And towards what? The remnant of his children, children. Which he shall leave. Now who's known for leaving their children? It's our brothers, ain't it? Yeah. On a broader scale, it's our men that's doing it. I'm not saying the other nations are not doing it, but no one is our people is doing it. What's the first thing, uh, what's the first thing our brothers say when they sit there with a shorty say uh they pray? That baby ain't mine. Brother do that real quick, man. You understand? Give me uh give me 64. I mean 68. Verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Lord said that uh, the Israelites were going to Egypt again. With ships. Now, how do we get over into America? I need another part. Transatlantic slave trade, right? You heard about that, right? Transatlantic slave trade. That's in the scriptures. This is a prophecy written over 2,000 years ago. And it happened about a little over 400 years ago. You understand? Keep going. By the way, Rob, I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. The same way the Most High God said it's going to happen is how it happened. Read on. 
and there he shall be sold unto your enemies. And there, who stole the soon as we came off from slave ships? What nation to be? So called white man. And it's, I say it loud on here, man. I tell them to their goddamn face. The white man sold my brothers and sisters, man. Don't give a damn about them, man. You understand? The Lord called them our enemies. They're not our friends. They don't accept us. They still killing us to this day. They, they out here screaming about making America great again. When has America ever been great for our people? Right. Give me, tell me one thing America has done good for us yet. One, I, I wait. Not a goddamn thing. Read on, King. For bond men. For enslaved men. And bond women. And slave women. And no man shall buy you. That word buy in the Hebrew means to redeem. Because in the days of old, if I went into slavery, you could come out of pocket with a lump sum of money and take me back home. Most I got kicked our ass out of sitting in Jerusalem for being disobedient. So getting, if being disobedient got us kicked out of the house, what must we do to go back home to our father? I'm going to say it one more time and slow it down. If being disobedient got us kicked out of the house by our father, what must we do to go back home to our father? Be obedient. Gotta listen. You understand? We gotta listen to our father. Now, these curses that the brother read on, you agree that it's only that happened to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? But he's not talking to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He's talking to the Israelites. So who must we be? The Israelites. That's right. You're an Israelite, brother, from the That's tribe right. of Judah. That's right. Christ came from the tribe of Judah. That's right. The, uh, the, the, the tribe of kings, right? Yeah, yeah. The tribe of kings. You understand? Let's get some laws, man. You better go get some to eat. You better go get some to eat. <laughs> oh, drink, but there's nothing wrong with drink, but you can't, you're not supposed to be bound or selling. Give me the access 20 and 8. Hey! Wicked man, look at this. Hey! This is what our people is worried about, man. Foolishness, they going man. To church tomorrow. Wickedness, man. Got them soul over there dancing backwards, man. The fat ass clothes, man. Stand it up, man. Wickedness, man. Exodus chapter twenty and verse eight. Bring it out. Remember the Sabbath day. Remember the Sabbath day. To keep it holy. To keep it holy. Uh, hey, brother, you're an Israelite, man, all right? Hey, eyes up. Eyes up. The book of Mark, chapter 1, verse number 15. Bring it up. And say, the time is revealed, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe in the gospel. 